Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in life we have so many purposes, goals and objectives. We want to achieve something and we look for means to achieve those goals and purposes. And often we realize that these means and these goals become our preoccupation that we fail to live our lives. Today the word of God invites us to seek the Lord. The one and only purpose of our life is to seek the Lord. And seeking the Lord would imply that we are favorable to God. God looks on us tenderly and he blesses us abundantly. And that is the uh, encouraging words that we hear in prophet Amos chapter 5 verses 4 to 6. For thus says the Lord to the house of Israel, Seek me and live. But do not seek Bethel, and do not enter into Gilgal, or cross over to Beersheba. For Gilgal shall surely go into exile, and Bethel shall come to nothing. Seek the Lord and live, or he will break out against the house of Joseph like fire, and it will devour Bethel with no one to quench it. So it is only by seeking the Lord and Him alone that we will live our life to its fullness. And again we read in the same chapter, verses 14 and 15. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. And so the Lord the God of hosts will be with you, just as you have said. Hate evil and love good and establish justice in the gate. It may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. So seeking the Lord also implies seeking good and avoiding evil. The same encouraging words are found in Prophet Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 13 and 14. When you search for me, you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart, I will let you find me, says the Lord. So the Lord will allow himself to be found if we seek him. And the Lord is not going to fail us. We read in the first book of Chronicles, chapter 28, verse 9. And you, my son Solomon, know the God of your father, and serve him with a single mind and willing heart, for the Lord searches every mind and understands every plan and thought. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will abandon you forever. We see the same words of hope in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 29, we read, from there you will seek the Lord your God, and you will find him, if you search after him with all your heart and soul. So we will find him with, if we seek him with all our heart and soul, with single-minded devotion, with akagrachit. The Lord will allow himself to be found. We read in Psalm 69, verse 32. Let the oppressed see it and be glad. 
यू वो सीक गॉड लेट योर हार्ट्स रिवाइव आर हार्ट्स विल रिजॉइस आर हार्ट्स विल बी रिवाइव्ड इफ वी सीक द लॉर्ड वी रीड अगेन इन द फर्स्ट बुक ऑफ क्रॉनिकल्स चैप्टर सिक्सटीन वर्स इलेवन सीक द लॉर्ड एंड हिज स्ट्रेंथ सीक हिज प्रेसेंस कंटिन्यूअली सो वी आर कॉल्ड टू सीक द लॉर्ड कंटिन्यूअली not that i have sought the lord once and i found him and i am satisfied no we need to seek the lord constantly continually we read in psalm 105 verses 3 3 and 4 seek the lord and his strength seek his presence continually remember the wonderful works he has done his miracles and the judgments he has uttered again we read in psalm 34 verses 4 and 5 i sought the lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears look to him and be radiant so your faces shall never be ashamed in the new testament we see that jesus also invited his disciples to seek the lord and his kingdom and his righteousness it is uh, uh, the same invitation we read in the gospel according to matthew chapter 6 verse 33 but to strive first for the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well seek first the kingdom of god and its righteousness and everything will be given to us in the gospel of matthew chapter 13 verse 44 jesus talks about the parable of a field with a hidden treasure the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field which someone found and hid then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field seeking the lord and finding him is like finding great treasure in the letter to the hebrews we are told that finding and seeking and finding god is also receiving his reward in the letter to the hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 and without faith it is impossible to please god for whoever would approach him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him the lord rewards those who seek him and in the letter to colossians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2 paul writes so if you have been raised with christ seek the things that are above where christ is seated at the right hand of god set your minds on things that are above not on things that are on earth so our hearts should be targeted at things belong to heaven things of the world beyond this material world that is the greatest treasure that we will uh, receive if we seek god his kingdom and its righteousness there was a young man who was getting fed up of life his uh, normal routine farming helping parents and he found that life was meaningless for him so he wanted to leave behind everything and seek god so he approached a monk and asked him permission to stay with him and seek god and his kingdom the monk accepted him the next day early in the morning even before the sunrise the elder monk woke up this young man and took him to the river 
So, as uh, the monk got into the water, uh, he called the young men also. So, when both of them were in water, suddenly the monk took hold of the neck of the young man and thrust it inside the water and he held him tightly so that this young man's head was inside the water. After a little while, this young man could not hold his breath. He was struggling to come out and the elder monk still kept him inside the water. After quite some time, the elder monk released his hand and the man, young man came up and he was panting for breath. He was so furious. He asked the elder monk, What did you do? Were you trying to kill me? The elder monk smiled and said, No, that's not what I was trying to do. But when I was keeping your head inside the water, what did you want? Of course, I wanted to breathe. I wanted air. The elder monk said, Now go home. When you have a desire for God, as much as you wanted air underwater, you come and we will help you to seek God. Dear brothers and sisters, if we want to seek God, we need to say no to everything else. We need to seek Him with the wholehearted attention. All our mind and heart, we need to seek Him. And the Lord will take care of all the things that we need in life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.